connected. All right. Oh my gosh, I hope this works. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? It's me, your girl Nikki Proverbs 31. I have a lot to cover, so please um, forgive me and I'm gonna try to make this one video. But first and foremost, I want to just thank God for allowing me to see another day. I just praise God for just all that he's done. He's my provider, he's my source, he's my healer, he's my deliverer, he's my strength, my strong tower, my shield and buckler, he's my everything. So I just have to praise God for that. And also, um, my heart and prayers will go out to anyone who has family members or, you know, you're in Haiti or what have you. My prayers go out to you all. Um, I believe there's one particular young lady that I communicate with. And, um, I know she's from Haiti and another young lady, her family is from Haiti. I just want to send my prayers, my thoughts with you all and, um, and, and to those who are in Haiti and the victims and I just hope that if you all have not you know give five bucks whatever but not don't just give to any organization give to an organization that is there or can get the stuff that needs to be you know the food the water the meds the doctors there um, unfortunately it's a lot of stuff going on but so try to go through you know Red Cross or somewhere um, but just do what you can um, with that being said I first I'm trying to hurry up and do this video because um, I got a lot going on and I'm going out of town tomorrow my grandmother is in the hospital she has a blood clot in her leg so if you all can keep her lifted up in prayer please forgive me I just want to say thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart to every last person who left a comment an email called or text message please know I am humbled by the love, the outpouring of love and support that you all have given me is beyond measure. Um, again, I apologize that I have not returned every, you know, reply to every message. I will. I promise you I will do so. But no, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. A special thank you to um, waiting for God's miracle. Robin, girl, you just again thank you again and if you don't follow waiting uh, for God's miracle check her out um, but she wrote a poem that just blessed my socks off and had me over here crying like a punk I ain't lying y'all I was like oh this is so beautiful Jesus it was it was beautiful thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you okay um I also want to clear something up because it may I don't know, maybe people are fast forwarding through my videos. And if you are, you know you dead wrong for that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you know, I understand. But I, I do believe either they didn't understand or hear it or fast forwarded or whatever the situation was, but um because I got a lot of comments like um, you know, quit crying and get up and make some phone calls and you need to take this seriously and you know and I guess they thought I was so depressed I was going to, you know, slit my wrist or go and jump off a bridge or just run in the middle of the street and get hit by a car. I'm over here, you know, rocking myself like, nobody knows the trouble I see. Nobody knows my style. No, I was none of that. I'm serious. Seriously. I, I, when I got the information, I said, you know, at first, yes, my feelings was hurt. But after my feelings, you know, after I recovered, I was like, how dare how, how dare you must don't know what who I who I belong to I've been bought and paid for by the blood of Jesus I ain't, I said okay I went to the Heavenly Father I said father here are the fact uh, here are the facts that the doctors are saying this is the doctor's report but here I know the truth your word is the truth and I take your word of the your word which is the truth over facts any day because the the truth is, by his stripes, I am healed. I have been made whole. And God is able to do whatever he wants to do. He can recreate organs. He can reposition organs. He can do whatever he wants to do. Um, or if we want to go through the IDF route, he, gonna, he, he will make a way out of no way. Because one thing God can't do is, is lie. And he is not a respective person. I think somebody sent that message to me. But that's something I always say to people anyway. So, But um, I just want you... Yeah, please understand that. Sister girlfriend over here is not. Mm -mm. I've been through too much to allow some foolishness uh, take me off the block. That's not even happening. So anyway, um, 
I met I went to my gynecologist the other day and basically told her I want to do a laparoscopy. The laparoscopy, she's she said I would, you know, I don't have a problem doing it, but her concern was that I've had two surgeries and um she said if I open you up and see something, I don't I, I don't I'm not comfortable with doing anything because of your previous surgeries. So she said, you know, I would prefer that you would go to the, your physician that who did your surgery before or your reproductive endocrinologist that you're working with here locally. And I respect her for saying that. I said, thank you for saying that. You don't know what the heck you're doing. That's all I want you to, that's all we want doctors to say is, you know what? I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I'm trying to figure this out. This is baffling me. If you was to say that to me, then I would say, okay, well, let me pray that God gives you some wisdom. But don't come on me with the first thing you want to come out your mouth is his directing me. Please know that I take everything, I, I you know, I take information and I'm not a type of person. I don't receive nothing. You know, I don't, you know, I will hear you out. I will listen and I will go to the father and I will seek wisdom in the best route to take. But, and I, but at the end of the day, I know that God is able to heal me and deliver me or whatever the situation is. But know that I, I've taken time to think things through and my husband and I have thought things through and prayed about certain things. We're not being foolish at all whatsoever. Um, because we have the mind of Christ and we don't we don't go that route. But for them, you know, understand where I'm coming from. I don't know if you all watched my videos before, but the doctors, my when I had my first myomectomy, well, no, when I've had my myomectomy in 08, um, my uterus was as large as having a six month old baby fetus growing inside of me. So yes, I had a little bit of complication. I had to have some, you know, blood, a blood transfusion, but God brought us through it, you know? So for you, to, for, the, for a doctor to, to say, oh, these are like four centimeters, your, your uterus is not, you know, it's not that bad. It's just a lot of them. I think you should have a hysterectomy and, do, and go through a surrogacy route, um, which is ridiculous. It was just appalling. It was like, how dare you? It was just, I, it was, it was insulting. It was like, are you serious? Do you really think kind of me as a fool? Um, no. So with that being said, um, again, I even say, y'all, I know I look a mess. I feel like a mess and I smell like a mess. TMI, but I just came from Zumba and I'm trying to take care of this and just do a whole bunch in a little bit of time. But, um, so after much prayer and thought and, you know, just thinking th things through what we've decided at this point. Oh, yeah, I'm going to say this. What we y'all know I have ADD. So y'all pray for sister. But what we've decided to do from at this point is this month, we're going to um, try naturally to conceive. So you all pray for us. I mean, seriously, pray for me. I know if you've been praying for me or not. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just kidding. But pray for me and pray for us. So we're going to try to conceive naturally. But we have talked to our, our my husband just, you know, he says, this is what I'm feeling that we should do. You know, we, we can do it. So we're going to do it. So we're going to try naturally this month. Um, if it doesn't work, then we're going to, we've already put our deposit to do another IVF cycle, which will be in March. So God forbid we don't get pregnant naturally, which I'm believing God that we will. But, you know, my husband said he wants to go, you know, have a plan. So we're having a plan. So we're going to do IVF in March if we don't get pregnant. I will call with my my next cycle um, if we, we don't have one. And uh, then I'll be on Lupron for a few weeks and then we'll go from there. So you all keep us in your prayers because remember we're paying out of pocket that we have favor. Um with these medications yeah because this is no joke but to god be the glory everything is going to work out fine again uh robin also you said that you were going to adopt and i'm so excited for you um all about the twins i'm excited about you and i've, to I've told you don't be trying to we we don't punk out there's no no we're going to stand for what we know we're going to believe God and just allow God to do what he got to do. But I just want to say God bless you all in daily expectation. JW26, keep, girl, everything going to work out just the way it is. God bless you. God bless you all. And um, I'll talk to you soon.